And good evening, Chief Meteorologist Chad Merrill with your forecast. And we had some snow earlier today. Thank you very much, Brian, sending this photo of the snow on his car. And here in Powell's Mountain, north of Summersville, in the higher elevations along Route 19, there was quite a bit of snow that decorated the trees. Thank you very much, Carol, for that Facebook photo. Anytime you want to submit weather photos, feel free to do so on our Facebook page, and we will share those with you. Temperatures are below that crucial freezing mark. So what that means is these puffs of snow that come through are going to accumulate on your sidewalks and make things a little bit icy as you head out tomorrow morning. It is in the middle 20s. We do have some heavier snow right now north of Summersville, higher elevation along Route 19. We also have a couple of more specks of snow showers. That's going to be the general thing theme and the winter weather advisory in effect for good measure because each of these snow showers will drop down a quick coating to maybe a quarter of an inch of accumulation. Here's our first storm system, this low spiraling across the Ohio Valley. That's kicking the snow showers off. That'll continue through the middle of the day tomorrow. Here's our second blossoming storm. This one off the mid-Atlantic coast and it's already pulling in moisture into southern New England and also parts of New York. Here's what's going to happen. It's called the Fujiwara effect in meteorology. These two lows are going to end up in one storm and spin around each other tomorrow. And you know what? Albany, New York is going to end up with about 15 to 20 inches of snow. The daily record for tomorrow in Albany, by the way, is 17 inches set back in 2017. It's going to be a major storm system. You can see it blossoming on the water vapor imagery, these two storms coming together. Another piece of information for you in the West, it's called an atmospheric river onslaught of all these Pacific storms bringing tremendous amounts of snow into California. Mammoth Mountain has already, for the entire winter, registered 600 inches and the record is 660 and a half inches. Very well may break that record because there's no end in sight for the train of moisture coming into the west. There's our Fujiwara effect with this low spinning, very heavy snow across New England through Wednesday morning. Our snow showers will end. We will have a sprawling area of high pressure. Thursday will be magnificent, spring-like weather. And then here comes our front that will drive in a couple of showers on Friday followed by colder weather over the weekend. Yes, some snow showers, mainly across the Great Lakes area. Now, after this burst of snow, we have a temperature spike and we're back to cold weather. How much snow are you going to see by tomorrow morning? About an inch of snow in most spots, a little dusting further south along I-77, and four to six inches in Pocahontas County. Your seven-day forecast, we are in the 30s on Tuesday, 40s on Wednesday. We break into sunshine late, 60 degrees on your Thursday, showers late on Friday. The bottom falls out for the weekend. We are back in the 30s and near 40 degrees. You will see more news after this break.